Kal Lo Yahel Bashim Yahushai Bashim Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who taught us this Yapa truth. And salutation and blessings to the hopeful Bakiyar. I wanted to continue in the spirit of condemnation against this filthy place, America, known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures, with this recent article going in on the abominations of the so-called Christian church with reports that they're now weaving in and lacing in the alphabet agenda into the doctrine, okay? Into the doctrine of the so-called Christian church. What we know to be uh, pagan. To, we know them to be harlot houses and uh, basically worship, worshiping Satan and committing uh, wickedness under the guise of being uh, following the Most High. Okay. So we come to declare that contrary to America's claims that it's a that it was founded on so-called Christian values, um, that it's a righteous and so-called God-fearing nation, we come to declare that it's completely wicked and and contrary to to the fullest, to the Most High, and to and to uh, righteousness, man. Okay. Understanding that when we can uh, speak with our mouths and, and condemn this place, that it's chipping away at the life bar of America, man. Ultimately, of the uh, so-called white man's power structure. All right. America just being the chief seat, the, the capital of Esau Edom's empire. All right. Because his regime, his uh, hegemony is global under the elites, okay, the um, so-called uh, 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 Salakia, the so-called Illuminati, right? All right, those um, those elite bloodlines. All right, mostly Khazar, the Malachites, man. So uh, we're just gonna get it. It says, uh, read read a little bit of this. World's largest Baptist university hosts Queer Ed Night. And we're going to squ- skip some certain terms just, um, you know, for PC's sake as a requirement, man. Because they clip shit and fucking uh, demonize. All right. Just for this time while we're under ease uh, uh, loss. All right. Until we get to let loose on this fucking devil. It says society is in an aggressive state of change, and that includes the arena of Christian education, all right? What you need to understand is that by this nation now claiming to be a so-called following of the scriptures, as it did not just in 1983 when Ronald Reagan declared um, it the year of the Bible, and that America was was to and is um, supposed to model itself after the laws in the scriptures, okay? And he said that this place, America, um, was supposed... Salakia said that the, the scriptures, the Bible, is the rock in which this republic rests, all right, verbatim. And then in that um, declaration, I believe it's uh, Proclamation 5018, something like that, 5018. And he goes into it. He says that all Americans um, should re-examine and rediscover uh, these scriptures, man. Pretty much um, their their, uh, guidelines for which man and an American citizen was to conduct himself by. All right, but when we go into the so-called Christian church and what they're doing and how they're conducting themselves, it's completely adverse to righteousness, man. Okay. Specifically going into this alphabet shit. And we're going to go into um, what this really entails. 
and how this is um, ultimately um, a, a huge form of Esau Edom, the devil the Bible speaks of, uh, putting the bottle to his neighbor, all right, and and um, the accuser of thy brethren, all right. It says Baylor University is the world's largest Baptist college. The 16,000 student institution was founded in 1845, making it the oldest perpetually operating university in Texas. Even so, don't assume it's old fashioned. Okay, so Lakia. So when I mentioned that this place uh, stated that it was uh, uh, to conduct itself based off the scriptures, um, not only then in 1983, but before when the so-called founding fathers um, were, when this place was, was being established, okay, the, the actual, um, uh, the whole system and the, the, um, the, the actual system and government and all that structure of America, okay, when that was being formed, they said it was uh, to be off of um, so-called Christian values. And matter of fact, they they state that there's um, claims that a lot of those uh, motherfuckers who came over here, the first settlers in America, came here to escape fucking uh, the 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 filth and abominations that were going down. Um, over there in, in the other lands where the Edomites were, okay, on the other side of the pond, man, okay? But uh, it couldn't be anything from a lie. This man, Esau, Edom, he can't do righteousness, man. So he just used that as a guise. And I brought all this up to say, this is where this man fucked up the most, Esau, Edom. This is where... Uh, America fucked up royally by taking this book and now uh, claiming that it was of the most high, but then to um, to commit such abominations as it does and to, to carry on as it does, man, in this place. All this new shit that they're, that they're implementing, it. not to mention all the wickedness that they've, that they've already done, okay? It says, on March 23rd, the school hosted an event certifying its contemporary credentials. And contemporary is a code word for, for Mo. For Mo alphabet f uh, f uh, freak shit. Okay. Which is another word is progressive. New age. Right. Be forward or forward thinking. When... All this, all these things are are uh, are actually uh, death bringing, death causing. It doesn't bring life, man. So how could it progress anything? It, it says, as advertised on Instagram, the extravaganza was called queer s ed q q s ed, and accompanying. Caption read, secret is out. See you tomorrow. Okay, here he goes. The ad didn't detail what was involved, but featured in the post was the Planned Parenthood logo. All right. So what you need to understand is that uh, depopulation is weaved within the alphabet agenda. All right. That's who was sponsoring. Planned Parenthood is sponsoring um, this QS Ed uh, night program that that they have, and not and not just this, well, uh, but in many different uh, Christian universities and, and um, cr uh, Christian institutions, okay, places where it's supposed to be about the Most High, centered around so-called God, man. All right. Um. But what is what is weaved in there is eugenics, man. To 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 um to thin the herd of the people of the useless eaters. 
okay, the useless class, the bottom. And it's mostly Jake. This is heavily marketed uh, to the, 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 the targeted trajectory, Islakia, the targeted demographic um, for this uh, alphabet shit is highly marketed to Jake, man. Okay. Because when you go into Planned Parenthood, it, its origins was founded in eugenics, man. It's, the, it's originally a eugenics program, okay? So what is that doing with, with the alphabet shit? Because they, they go one and the same, man. They won't need to sterilize you or uh, they won't need to fucking um, to abort your your children if they if you don't even go that way if you're just if you think you're a uh, you know what I'm saying if you think you're a chipmunk or some shit straight up huh cause that goes into that whole uh, alphabet you know that's what a Q is for crying out loud could be anything and then let's go into this because um, PRISM is the is the uh, program that sponsored that whole night, um, that whole education um, uh, program is sponsored by uh, by this entity called Prism at Baylor University, and this is one of the main goals. This is the the conclusion of their uh, goals and their tenets. It says to help students gain deeper understanding of their own and others' complex and intersectional identities, including gender and sality and spirituality, okay? So they're tying in what? That, that um, uh, sexuality with spirituality, which when you go into it is fornication, man. So this place is just a den of abomination, man, in America. In a place where um, it's riddled with so-called Christian churches, all right? And when you go into it, a lot of people in, in um, the pinnacle of society in every sector, they're in so-called Christian um, organizations, man. Okay, a lot of those fucking uh, um, celebrities, right? A lot of people in the government and in politics all day. That was what that whole thing of the um, oh, fuck the family, the family was about, right? That Netflix documentary, but really they worship fucking Satan, man. Okay. And then check it out. Here's some of the uh, the um, titles of some of these recent articles of the the abominations of this place, man. It's fucking madness. Okay, let's get it because I wanted to show you. Uh. Christ, as for Christian schools and Christianity in general, there's a meaty amount of modernization going on, right? Meaning lacing um, the, these these uh, progressive agendas into into the fucking church, man. All right, this is this is absolutely wicked. All right, and this is supposed to be condemned, man. Which the men of Yahweh Shimei Awashai are set up to do, and it's like into like mention what some would most would call uh, uh, the last of a dying breed is actually the first of a thriving breed, man. It says uh, Christian University has professors state their pronouns, calls T T G ism tgdism fundamental to its mission how could tgdism be fundamental 
to the mission statement of a Christian university, man. Okay? This is showing you what's going on, man. This place is, is completely fucking wicked. And, and contrary to the scriptures, it talks about adding t to the book. And I'm going to show you how uh, what their logic is in association with this. Or if... Um, and it's not logic. It's really deception of what this motherfucker is. But I'm going to go into it real quick. Briefly, it says, Christian University's residence hall gets... We're here, we're a queer LGBT mural. Okay, Christian Divinity School recites prayer to the queer great one who's a drag queen and a trans man. Okay, Christian University showcases art depicting a Mo Yahawashai. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. Uh, and I, I want to get this because it goes into fornication. Let's get this. Hmm. Okay. Salakia. Okay. Uh, it says right here, um, the old college try, prestigious university asked students to spin the wheel of fornication, promoting fornication in these Christian colleges, man. Okay, we have, we get that we have to get that for relevance. But listen, when you go into what the consensus, so called, with these uh, fucking Christian churches around America, the consensus is that uh, the scriptures don't go into homosexuality that it's not addressed in the scriptures and that um that uh so let's, let's let's get it let's see what it says it says uh this is what I what I located in my found findings wow okay check this out you this is a great summation of what the the general consensus is it says the Bible says nothing about homosexuality as an innate dimension of personality. Sexual orientation was not understood in biblical times. Okay. And then you keep going on. Uh, uh, pretty much. Oh, yeah. So um, alphabet affirming scriptures. So what they're what they're doing now. Not only what the consensus is, but what the agenda, what their, which is basically is what is in their plans, what they're attempting to do, is to weave in this mo shit into into the the scriptures, man, and be like, you know, it's all it's all inclusion, it's no problem, okay. It's extremely wicked, man. And this place is going to get an extra wallops for that. It's going to get um, a more severe destruction. Okay. This is in 1 John 2 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the, world the, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes... And the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Okay. So, all you have going down in this place, America, 
and we're focusing on this place because in the scriptures it tells you that Babylon the Great would be a place that would be an example to the other nations of wickedness, okay, of abominations, of, phil of uh, wicked philosophy, all right, which is exactly what America represents and the part that it plays in the, in the world, all right. When you go into Americanization and how much of a heavy influence on popular culture and all um, other uh, elements of, of human life that that uh, this place influences, man. Okay. So this being, as aforementioned, the capital of Esau Edom's empire, right, of his... Of his uh, the capital of his regime, all right? And so you can absolutely interchange the world with America, but primarily, man, this place is the pinnacle, and it's really an amalgamation of all the, wick the wicked kingdoms, the spirits of the wicked kingdoms, all melded into one, man, okay? It's, uh, so when you go into... All that is in this place, the lust of the flesh. Uh, lust goes into uh, affection that is um, forbidden, okay? Unlawful affection, all right? Quite literally going into that, that, uh, that freak shit that's so fucking heavily promoted in, in society today, man. Which is completely uh, um, the, uh, filthy in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. And even to, um, it's counterintuitive. It's, it's against nature like it says in the scriptures. Alright. That which is unseemly. Alright. It's against logic. Alright. To be doing that. It doesn't procreate. It fucking... Um, Really, you have to have demons on you because it's not even, you can't even, um, uh, like, generally, all in all, a person can't really fucking uh, get off from that, from that, from that weird stuff. They get off from natural, how the Most High naturally made it a man and a woman, right, can, can uh, receive genuine pleasure. All right, that's why it's a fucking demon. Okay, the lust of the flesh. All right, of the carnality. See? And that's what this whole place is predicated off of. And it's driven all by fucking car uh, carnality, man. All right. This is in uh, Colossians 3. And five, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Okay. And they're over there talking about spin the wheel of fornication, going to, and representing everything that the Most High condemns in the scriptures, man. Fornication, which is what this whole fucking place is about. This entire country, we're going to get it in the blue letter. Uh, shit that the Most High uh, not only condemns, but has uh, sentenced to capital punishment. All right, he has a judgment set up for these f freaks. And this deviant behavior that's um, pushed in in this place, all right, that's fucking uh, pushed to the forefront and stuffed down the throats of the people, is uh, the judgment due for this is fucking is death, all right. This is in. Uh, the BLB, the word fornication, 
It says Pornia. Pornia. Or Naya. It says illicit sexual intercourse. Okay. So anything outside of a man and a woman. Salakia. Anything outside of a man and an unmarried, unbetrothed woman is uh is it considered illicit, man. And then it goes on to state some examples. Adultery, uh the mo shit, um, uh, bestiality, which, which is the colloquial term. The formal name is uh, zoophilia. Okay. It goes on to what? Incest. All right. And then um, going back into polluted field, which is, is um, if you're broken off, severed ties with a woman. And you go back into that polluted field, right? That's 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 uh, fornication. And it says of the f- worship, the worship of idols. All right, and did not tie in sexuality with spirituality and the goals and the tenets of Prism, that program that sponsored uh, that that uh, entity. Um, that organization within Baylor University that sponsored the the, the queer education uh, uh, program. Okay. So uh, it says of the defilement of idolatry as incurred by even sacrifices offered to idols. Okay. So um, and this is har- harlotry. Including adultery and incest. Give me a couple examples again. All right, but listen. It just told you um, all, that all these things are idolatry, man. Fornication, right? It's um, it's deserving of death. All right, it's to be punished. It's punishable by capital punishment, man. As it says in the NLT, or potentially the GNT, all right, and that it's your own fucking fault when going into the, the, your blood is upon your hands, man. All right, let's get that inordinate affection. Cause see, this is all the shit that is uh, promoted here in Babylon. All right, all the main things to get you wiped out from the Most High. All right, on some Sodom, full Sodom and Gomorrah on steroid shit is the great Babylon, man. Okay. So this cannot be a, a, a so-called Christian nation. Which simply goes back to Hamashiach. The, the true followers of Hamashiach, something they distorted as well. Okay. Uh, inordinate affection. Salakia. Ooh. Epithmia. Epithumia. Let's see. Salakia. That's concupiscence, is the epithemia. But man, boy, is that explain fully what the, the uh, the dealings, all right. Talking about the bedroom stuff and the and the, and that type of of uh, realm, but it's heavy because your whole identity is now tied. This is a huge fucking deal, man. Of all this, and this is and nobody's fucking um, discussing this, all right. 
except the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, who the Most High has a spirit on and a uh, um, a hand in their back, so to speak. Okay, speaking through us as vessels, man. It says pathos. Um, whatever befalls one, whether it be sad or joyous. No, this couldn't be it. Pathos subjectively a passion. Especially concupiscence. Wow, that's beautiful that it ties it into that. Lust, affection. All right. It says outline of biblical usage down. Um, let's go down into the second. Uh, let's see. Let's go into section two. All right. There it is. It's in uh, section two, bullet point D. Okay, letter D. It says, in the New Testament, in a bad sense, depraved passion vile passions okay so wow that's what they're that's what they're getting you to you to identify and see the thing is what you got to understand what a whole um qu- queer uh uh ed queer s q s ed program is doing it's introducing uh different um deviant uh, acts and different um, deviant lifestyles to Jake. All right, because primarily that's the, the the biggest target. All right, is the perfect, as it says in the scriptures. Which um, the elect, of course, is the perfect of the perfect. But the um, the children of Israel are are um, cl- classified and deemed as the perfect in the scriptures, man. All right, so that's the primary target of the heathen and of Esau, Edom. Because so, if you can get more Jake to be Moe's, you can get less of them to procreate. You can get, um, you can curb births, Jake births, man. All right, it's fucking easy, uh, easy math, man. Okay, and then, but furthermore, this is um, extremely abom- abominable behavior in the sight of the Heavenly Father that's promoted in this place and slapped on with the guise of, of being of being uh, about the Most High, man. And we're going to uh, sum it up with that. Right. Summarize with that. It says... Uh, let's get it. Concupiscence, epithemia. And then uh, the kicker about all this is it doesn't just introduce these um, de- depraved, deviant lifestyles um, to, to Jake and to um, the masses of the people. But it then furthermore teaches them the inner workings of the shit, of the actual deeds and the acts that are... Strong's G, 3588, ha, ha. That is, uh, that entails into, um, into that lifestyle, right? Um, and then as to, you know, Jake... To uh, to recenter the focus on, because I didn't finish a thought, but basically here in the Babylon, your identity is tied to uh, to your your preferences, your sexual preference, man. Okay, that's how much of a huge fucking deal this is, and of wickedness, and why they they put so much of a um, an emphasis. On, on all of this, man. 
your orientation, your gender, you know, and all this to um, uh, be free in your in your sexuality, you know, explore and to do all this because it's it's highly um, associated with and it's highly uh, uh, um, pretty much um, the implications, the spiritual implications are are very um, grave when dealing with this man because that kind of shit oh, it opens you up and all that too okay um, this word concupiscence says desire, craving longing and here it is desire for what is forbidden alright so that's a problem that's a that's a um, that's an extreme conflict that's going on right now in this world for this to be the uh, one of the central focuses um, in the world but it, for it to be uh, forbidden okay and we're going to get this is in uh, Psalm 50 and the the 16th verse it says but unto the wicked the most I saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in my in thy mouth? Okay. So the wicked being Esau, Edom, the devil the Bible speaks of. Him and his line, okay, and the ones that are in power, the elites. All right. Just one just to give you a, a few examples, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, and then also, of course, other uh, clandestine identities, hidden, hidden, uh, um, have which in which they've hidden themselves under, okay, that are in the um, secret rulership over the world, all right. It says, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? All right, and that's what they did here in America by, uh, man, it's not just as we went into the Ronald Reagan uh, declaration, year of the Bible, but, um, the, but, uh, going throughout American history, man, they have always used even fucking this bitch ass Biden, Donald Trump, every last one of them have used the scriptures they even swear in on, right? And they do nothing of the sort, even how they conduct their government, right? The fact that they they have bitches up in the uh, in leadership in Congress and all this shit, man fucking speaker of the house and the you know this treasurer and all this all this other madness man one of a of a fucking plethora of a menagerie a myriad of other abominations taking place and uh, transgressions of the law that are taking place within the inner workings of Babylon man shit, inner workings that are in the fucking forefront, it's obvious okay that it's a bombardment of wickedness in this place man, okay so how could they claim to be a good Christian nation as they have stated alright, and I had the displeasure of growing up with Edomites that they always try to you know uh, uh to put the most high on shit. Well, God, really, a uh, uh, Satan. We don't know what what they were coming after the whole time, but but it's under the guise of the Most High. You know, with the scriptures, what they what they do, what they warp, and twist the scriptures. Okay. It says, uh, or that. Thou shouldest 
take my covenant in thy mouth. All right. So you declared the statutes and the scriptures. You swore in on the scriptures. You said that this was indeed uh, the, the the statutes in which to govern this country by. You said verbatim, the rock. This is the rock in which this republic rests. Okay. But you didn't follow it. All right. Not only didn't did you not follow it, you you used it with the illusion of uh you um you used it as an illusion and you used it with the intention of not following it to begin with all right you took this to say okay what is going to paint us in the most benevolent light that um they'll that we can continue continue to do our rape robbery and murder and wickedness but um in in the uh behind the scenes but cover it over with something benevolent what can we can we use and nothing more better than the scriptures all right than the most high the heavenly father the things that pertain unto him all right purity righteousness to take that and, um warp it twist it uh for your gains man Primarily to what? To maintain your dominance and your hegemony. Okay? Because if you um, paint yourself as the Most High and His people, and that, see, we're, we're a nation of the book and all this, nobody's going to fuck with you. All right? But by the grace and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he has set up vessels on the earth to uh, aid in the exposure of this man, all right, which is the precursor to his downfall, all right. We're in the um, beginning stages of this place and really in the, um, where we're, uh, we're pretty deep into, into the, um, the course of events of the downfall of this place leading really into the, the the culmination the climax of the destruction of this fucking place man when it really gets taken out because that moment when it crosses over into the true tribulation true uh uh evil fucking nasty times out here all right where men will be seeking each other's life on the on an instant Okay, on sight, where there's going to be death and destruction on every side, calamities, fucking um, sinkholes, the earth opening up all over the place, right? Um, like it says, fucking, um, the earth is going to be against the people in that day, man. All right? All the most high creation is going to be against the enemies of Yahweh Bashem Shai, them that are destined to get it in that day. All of the Most High's creation is going to be against them in that day, man. All right? When um, it crosses over into that time, when you know uh, that, that that's it, it's, it's going to be, um, it's going to be very swift. Okay? It says... Seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. Okay. So this place is going to get a hefty destruction. It says thou givest, uh, Salakia, Salakia. It says, when thou sawest the thief, then thou consent, consentest with him and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and a tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou 
thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. Okay? And that's the pomp and the pride of Esau, Edom. That, of course, the Most High has allowed him to get on this uh, bridge, to get big on his bridges, to get puffed up on his high horse. All right? Was it the saying not go, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And the um, the more Esau's pride has been built up, the greater his destruction is going to be. It says, uh, But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Okay. So that's the men of Yahweh Bashim Shai. This is the beginning of your end. All right. Starting with the elders and apostles, the great Muslim, Abba Bivens, all the way on down, man. From that time, the Most High has been setting up vessels to consume this place with the spirit of, of, of his mouth, all right, which is the dismantling of, of this current regime, this Esau's world. The left side of life, okay? Wicked rulership over the planet, all right? Of, of Esau and the heathen, all right? This is going to be a thing of the past forever. Life as, hum, life as mankind has known it since the beginning, since the inception of mankind, life as mankind has known it is, is coming to an end, man. This is the single most greatest event in the history of mankind that's about to take place. All right. And we thank you, Haobashim Yawashai. Man, on our fat, on, flat on our faces in, in reverence and in contrition. Okay. And in thanksgiving to the Heavenly Father. Just for, just for the simple fact of being called, man. For our minds to be unlocked into this Yapa truth, man. Okay? And then to just be potentially a part of the Most High's overthrow. Okay? And to transition into the internal, eternal kainos. All right, so this is an extremely centrifugal um, moment in history that's taking place right now, man. Okay? And it's, this is yet another m and more major L's that this place is taking. America and the so-called Christian church. All right. And these, these so-called universities that's been exposed that nothing but... Um, the curriculum is nothing but trash. All right. Okay. We're witnessing the fucking the death of so-called death of a dynasty of of the great old United States of America, man. So with that, all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, Shemakah, Kadash.